and Phil. What's up, guys? I'm not the storm child. However, I'm calling in today because I just bought that new Bewitcher album. It is fucking amazing. This is a first thoughts video. I only listened to the record once so far. And uh, fuck, if you didn't watch my video on, on uh, the music video by Bewitcher a couple months back, I guess. Years? <laughs> no, months. Um, you, should, you should know that I love them already. Uh, however, since there's a lot of people out there not knowing about Bewitcher, enough at least, <laughs> I'm here to praise the living fuck out of them. Because from listening to the album once so far, it's fucking amazing already. And I'm gonna listen to it for the rest of the weekend for sure on a continuous loop. Because it's really that good. Like, um, for, for those of you guys who don't know, the first Bewitcher album, oh, this is, this is flashy, <laughs> is a self-titled debut. It's great, it's raw, it's rough. They got a little bit cleaner with, yes, I'm showing off, I got both versions of it, <laughs> their second album, Under the Witching Cross, which is a phenomenal record. I cannot state that enough. It's just really that fucking good. I've listened to it in and out, like I know each and every note on this track. It's brilliant. Let alone their live performance, you can, you, they're good beyond belief. And then, after a long waiting period, this fucker came out. It's just, this is, fuck man, this is Cursed Be Thy Kingdom. It's a fucking brilliant record. I don't know if you can see that cover. It's just, it's magnificent, it's so well done, and by only listening to the record once, I already can say they upped their game, like, a lot <laughs> in a lot of departments. Maybe even going a little far on some bits, but that would be real nitpicking. Like, for example, the intro when that first hit in, I was like, is this really a Bewitcher record? I was a little confused, but <laughs> it's, it's great nonetheless. And boy, it clocks in about... Uh, 37 minutes and it's well worth your time if, if you're even slightly interested in rocking out like rocking out I know the viewers of this channel usually are not into into the more aggressive sounding bit of metal but fuck they shred it's just really good and thank you Bewitcher for actually giving this to me it's it's so amazing like uh, from listening to the album once so far my favorite track so far it's a first thoughts video, uh, video, all right? So, so far, my favorites are Mystifier and uh, Metal Burner. Because both of those tracks are Metal Burners. It's just... Mm, oomph. Unfortunately, we couldn't do a uh, reaction video to your uh, visualizer or whatever it was because Sanctuary Media blocks stuff like that. So I hope they don't block this video. Um, so... I didn't listen to the of the uh, pre-released tracks earlier, so this is actually my fresh impression after finally getting my hands on the record because it's been released today. And um, fuck yeah, it's it's amazing, it's amazing. Everybody out there, give it a shot. I claim that there is a little bit of something in in this record for everyone out there. Like, if you don't like the upbeat, thrashy bits, like, check out Trek 7. What's Trek 7? <laughs> Give me a sec. Uh, it's Valley of the Ravens. I'm, I'm, I might be completely wrong on that one, but I'm getting a strong classic heavy metal vibe out of this. Like, even some bits remind me of Maiden in the bass section, and other bits remind me of Wasp a lot. And um, that's all high compliments when it comes from my mouth, because obviously I like those bands a lot. And, um, no, seriously, give this band a shot. This record, production-wise, is, um, you know, they stepped up their game a little bit. It's a little more polished or poppy, even. It's more, um, you know, it's, it's fitting more in, in the mainstream sound-wise, which is not a negative thing at all. So far, they have a perfect balance between their roughness and, and uh, you know, evening it out. So... <laughs> Nothing to complain about, really, except maybe the Sign of the Wolf cover by Pentagram wasn't really needed at the end, for me at least, personally. However, I think a lot of um, people watching of a younger age maybe 
not knowing pentagram at all might get their fair share out of it because it's a solid cover. However, even though I like pentagram and I like this song in particular, I think the rest of the album is better. <laughs> As I told you in the beginning, it's, um, you know, I'm basically just praising The Witcher. As you can tell, I love their shit. And uh, I can't wait to, you know, go see them live again once they will be able to go back on tour again. And hopefully they'll come to Germany and I'll be able to see them. So, um, no, man, fuck, it's, it's amazing. If you don't know Bewitcher yet, check them out. If you do, check them out again and buy their records because bands are having a tough time right now um, maintaining their business, if you will. So, support the bands you like. I like Bewitcher, so support them even more. <laughs> so, um, by the way, this is weird, calling in without having the storm child around, and, uh, you know, you have to forgive me for, for doing that, but I wanted to get this out as soon as possible to let you guys know about this record. It's A-class. Great. Listen to it. Buy it. <laughs> Alright? Uh, Somewhere, hopefully, in the background, there is a picture appearing of the storm child, and uh, I'm Phil. See you the next time. Bye. Swoosh. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil.